Today we're going back to Jack Daniels. This time it's the single barrel silver select coming at you at 100 proof. See you guys in a bit. Hey, welcome back Whiskey Questers to another episode of Whiskey Quests. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Antonio. And in this channel, I like to try whiskeys from all over the world. I also like to add a drop of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try it. So if you're curious about whiskey, you want to learn more about whiskey, just in general, you love whiskey, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification. Stick around for more videos. Got to give a quick shout out to my boy, Matt from the Whiskey Dude YouTube channel. This guy hooked it up with a ton of awesome whiskeys. I've been enjoying every single one of them. And I hope you guys have been enjoying my reviews. I suggest you go to his YouTube channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Go check him out. See if you like him. Give him a sub. Tell him I sent you. All right. On to the review right here. We're going to move on with the nose. I always get this banana note right up front. But on this one, I'm getting something a little bit different. Let me see. I'm getting more caramel up front on this one right here. There is something fruity in there not really a banana i don't know guys it's making me think uh somewhere along the lines like um like a sweet marshmallow i'm not getting that uh that varnishy note that i've gotten on the other one so this one's just really sweet on the nose it's very very oaky some good wood notes going on yeah the only thing i can think of is like a like a marshmallow caramel little hints of vanilla now we'll see if a drop of water later on opens something up, all right? So let's just move on straight on to the tasting right here. Very nice first sip. Gives me a nice wood char. Long lasting wood char. Let's go for a second sip, see what happens. Cheers. Hmm. That second sip gave me, gave me a nice fair amount of cinnamon, hot cinnamon spice. Nice, right there. Nice, good. I'd say like a nice buttery mouthfeel going on. That spiciness is still lingering. I'm getting a lot more wood char this time around. And it's not as sweet as the nose led me to believe. Yeah, some, some burnt brown sugar notes coming out. Some mint developing as it starts fading away. But this is nice, a nice I'm gonna say it's a nice long finish. I mean, it just keeps lingering. I keep tasting that wood char, those burnt sugar notes. One more sip, cheers. Not too much sweetness on the palate on this one. I actually dig it. And it actually reminds me more of along the lines of the uh, uh, Jack Daniels uh, Frank Sinatra bottle. So let's add a little bit of water and we'll see what happens with that now that i'm talking about frank sinatra that that whiskey right there also did not deliver the banana notes that i'm used to getting in jack daniel so i wonder i wonder if that's something maybe they use similar barrels from that one with this that'd be pretty interesting to find out i'll have to do a little bit more digging if I find out anything about that, I'll put it in the description. Now, again, this one's 100 proof, and I couldn't find an exact price on this, but it ranges between $55 and $65. So, a little bit of history on this right here. The first generation of this uh, whiskey was between 1997 and 2010, and it was the highest proof in their offerings at that, at that time. Obviously, now we have the single barrel barrel proof, so which he also donated and i'm saving that for last just so you guys know anyways this was then replaced by a new look in 2010 only to be discontinued uh in 2015 and then rebranded as a single barrel 100 proof in 2016. now according to the website this is something that you're only gonna find in the uh, duty free shop so don't even bother looking for their older labels because it's just gonna cost you an arm and a leg let's get back to the whiskey on the nose a whole bunch more sweetness coming out this time i'm still getting that marshmallow kind of kind of note <sighs> maple syrup this time around a lot more sweet caramel also coming out 
So it just got really sweet with that drop of water, which is awesome. Let's just hope the flavor changed a little bit more or maybe it just got a little bit more powerful. You never know unless you try it. Cheers, everybody. Okay, so it got weaker in a sense, but it also opened up a nice orange citrus that cinnamon spice got toned down a lot surprisingly but those wood char notes are coming out i think everything's playing a little bit nicer that mint is also still there developing slowly but it did get I, it went down to the short side that's that's the first Normally it just gets to like down to the medium or it just stays at a long finish, but this one, I, it just got short. Just like the Frank Sinatra, there's absolutely no banana notes in this one. Like I said, you can only find this in duty free shops and from the homework that I've been doing, I didn't know how those, those shops uh, operated. So apparently here in the U S you have to be flying internationally in order to to pick one of those up to buy one a bottle from those shops so you have to buy it as you're leaving which sucks you know you can't just fly you know a couple states over and pick yourself up some bottles from there which is kind of lame come on they gotta lighten up on those rules i don't know why they do that but if you guys know put it in the comments below well there you guys have it guys it's just a short review on this one right here just trying to work my way through all the samples that the whiskey dude sent me. As for this whiskey right here, I guess if you're flying internationally, then you know you see this, definitely pick it up. It is a great whiskey. It's a, a huge, huge step up from the regular Jack Daniel. So I wish I could say Frank Sinatra, you know, because you could get that anywhere. It's just you can only buy it in the one liter bottle, and it's a little pricey. So I would say. Pick this up if you're traveling. All right, Whiskey Questers, thanks for stopping by. I will be reviewing the rest of his samples because I've acquired a few bottles over the months that uh, I've been reviewing his whiskeys and I can't wait. I can't wait to start showing you guys. Uh, just, to, just to let you guys know what's going on. I got Maker's Mark 46. I got Henry McKenna. 10 year bottled and bond i got a bullet rye 12 year i got this bottle that my wife gave me for my anniversary uh another one behind it it's a it's a single barrel from russell's reserve i got lot 40 rye whiskey i got weller reserve it's i got a whole bunch of other whiskeys over there that um i'm trying to get to so just just to let you guys know what's going on so stick around hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss, miss a single beat. Drop a comment below. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.